Yes, share is online. Share is online. Bye, children. Bye. Oh, sir, is that line now? All right, morning, students. Good morning, sir. Morning, sir. Yeah, man, morning. Morning, morning, sir. Morning, morning. Just waiting for some more persons to log in so we can um, proceed with our lesson. By the way, how many persons? I've only seen eight persons. Who have submitted that work you understand so disappointed but happy that eight persons could have submitted it i still need the rest of the work right just letting persons know from now that i need the rest of the work good so if you are one of those persons who i, I saw joshua's work i saw um richard's work i've saw i've seen um uh Chris work right just a few persons. I can bring it up let you see how many persons so we can. So I sir he's redoing it. Huh? He's redoing it. Uh -huh. So what is he doing? Yeah. How do you know it's one of the things? Because I see something unfamiliar and he said it sounds great to work and other people work. So this is the one that I miss when he gave work. So, so as I said, it's eight persons who have submitted. These are the eight persons. Uh, I'll, so Joshua submitted, Grace has submitted, uh, Garden, Iron have submitted, Akas, um, Richards, and Save Wright. Those are the only persons I, I see here. And um, Wint, Wint have submitted the work. No, I need the work, guys. I need the work because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. Need work. A report card, right? And on the report card, you must have some amount of work. Is it the same work that you said that to you? Is it the, the, me, the one that oh, I missed? Hmm? It looks so. All right, all right, guys. So, so today we're going to talk some more about um. Well, not some more, but we're going to we're going to tie in what we have learned in regards to electricity. And now we're going to talk about magnetism, right? And we're also going to see how we bring both of them together to uh, form to form a, a, a new word that some of you haven't heard of before. But that word is is is, is uh, electromagnetism. Yes. Right. So let me see. Uh, let me see the show of hands of persons who have who have you know played with played with magnets. You know before Nikia has all right three persons good all right so garden has yes yes all right good Joshua has good all right so yes iron has good all right good so clearly we we, we 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 know what a magnet is right but do we understand what is happening inside of the magnet if you do understand let me know go ahead unmute your mic and speak or tell me right what did you do with that magnet when you when you had that encounter with it I'm going to call names then. All right, Joshua, you, you wrote your hand. Go ahead, Joshua. Repeat the question. All right, so the question is, what do you know about a magnet? Do you know how a magnet works? Not really, you know, sir. Most of the time, when I just put a magnet on that table and move for money and trick people. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, man, as a, as a child growing up, you know, we normally do that for years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you bring back some memories there. Yeah, man, respect for that, man. What about Grace? Grace, um, tell me, what, what did you do with the magnet when you, when you, when you um, were playing with it? Um, sir, I just put it with money or on the fridge or something. 
good. So what what did you observe that happened when when you you put it you know towards the money or towards the fridge? What what did you what did you observe? Um, it attracted the object to it. So was it only attraction that you that you were able to observe? Do you experience any form of repulsion? Yes, sir. Uh, explain the repulsion part to me. Um, when when did it repel? Maybe you don't know to answer that part. But all right, good. So yes. So what what she has observed is that you know magnets tend to attract to magnetic materials, right? So not all materials are referred to as magnetic materials, but the, the few that are referred to as magnetic material, right? You know, we can do a myriad of things with these types of materials, right? And today we want to talk some more about magnets, how they work, you know, the different types of poles that exist on a magnet, right? And, you know, talk about forces of attraction and repulsion. And I think with that, you know, we're on our way to completing some stuff here, all right? All right, so many of the appliances today are used today have, give me a second, guys. All right, back to you now, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so yes, so many of the appliances that we have used, right, you know, involve some complex electric, uh, electrical circuits, right? And within these circuits, we have what we call now, you know, electronic circuits, so to speak. So you have electrical circuits, and within inside of those circuits, you have electronic circuits, and you know, you know, these electrical circuits have what we call electric devices right and uh, you know some of the electric devices that you, you typically use in your, you know on a daily basis telephone microwave you know uh photograph photocopier rather and all those kind of things right now when when we're, when, when, when when these machines are being operated we we we, we 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 integrate you know the relationship between electricity and magnetism right now, when you do physics to a next level, right, when you do fifth form, fourth form, you will understand some more about what we're talking about here and how we basically fuse electricity and, mag and magnetism to get a new word, which is what we call electromagnetism, right? So last time, uh, I mean, last week I, was, I, I had a class with, the fifth, with some fifth form students and we were talking about this whole thing and how it actually occurred in a sense where you know this guy trying to remember his name is it name is uh oddster oddster something like that that's his name right so he wanted to prove that there is not there is no magnetic field that is associated with electricity and you know when he went to do the experiment it actually became the opposite right so he wanted to disassociate the, the term magnetism with uh, electricity. But when he actually did the experiment, he now realized that whenever there's a flow of electricity, or whenever there's a flow of charge in a wire or, or a circuit, there's going to be an associated magnetic field that is that is that is coined or, or that, that, is, that is formed around the wire, so to speak. Right? Now, magnetism like electricity is another form of energy right 
and make use of magnet so that 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 force that you feel you know with with a magnet or a force of attraction it is actually some form of energy that we're working with just like how electricity is a form of energy right good now magnetism on the other hand refers to the attractive force one second what it refers to the attractive force that cause a magnet to attract magnetic material so whenever a magnet has attracted a magnetic material we now refer to that term as magnetism so magnetism has occurred and these materials are iron not miss iron this time right um steel we have nickel and a few other types of materials you know and you know what we have to make we have to, we have to take certain things into consideration when we're talking about magnetism we have to take into consideration distance you understand because you know the further away you go from the magnet it's the less force that you're going to experience right so we have to factor in distance to to put everything to play when it comes down to magnets right now typically here is what we call a bar magnet all right, hold on. I'm gonna make it stop more from the screen. I'm gonna like right from the board. I'm gonna like that. I'm gonna show you. So I have control over this thing. Now, here is that show you though. All right. So we're back to speed now. Yeah, man. So this is known as a bar magnet right and how the bar magnet operates is that our every magnet right is going to have a knot and a south pole right now how the how the, how the man, magnet work is that you know there's what we call magnetic fields these arrows that you see going out of the magnet right these are what we call a magnetic field so whenever you put the object close to the magnet Right, let me just bring up my simulation by the way. All right, let me just, um... so here I have a bar magnet on the screen. As I move that bar magnet, I realize that these things here on the screen, those small compass, are going to move. Right, let's just imagine that the, 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 the red part of these of the compass is the north pole, and the, the gray part is the, is the south pole. Right. Now, how the magnets operate, guys, is that, you know, if I should take the, the southern side of the magnet and put it against the compass, right, there's going to be a force of attraction. That's why, that's why you're able to see, that's why you're able to see that the, so, the north and the south is, is, is lined up with each other right now what if i turn my well what if i try to move now my um my compass to this next side to the other end right let's observe what's going to happen when i move the compass around here i now realize that you know the north is 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 um is attracted to the south right now if i if i if i go again and put this one around here i realize that you know it the, 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 the north and the south has, has attracted. Now, if you look on the screen, you realize that there are some little um, compasses here that, that are in a circular motion, right? So as I move the magnet in and around this area with these small compasses, I realize that the magnets are, are the compasses are experiencing a force, right? And that force really is that force of a attraction and in some cases repulsion now here's here's electromagnet here i have a current carrying um here i have a, a, a conductor that is carrying some current here let me imagine taking my compass let's just observe it and see what is going to happen right i'm going to try my best to bring it right through this um thing here all right but as I move the, 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 as you can see, guys, as I move my compass for, um, close to the, to the, to the wire, I realize that my, my, uh, 
compass is actually turning. So my compass is actually experiencing a force on the outside here, right? And as you can see, it is because that current carrying wire is pro producing a magnetic field, right? Good. Now, imagine if I had an alternating source. By the way, this is a, a battery, and a battery produces what we call direct current. If I have an alternating current, right, it means that the current goes in two different positions, up and down. You understand? So when that happens, this is what happens to the to the to the um to the compass. It deflects and deflects, you know, varying depending on on, on where the current is flowing in the in the um conductor. So, so guys, we have seen that you know the distance, as we said, comes into play in 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 the whole force of attraction and stuff like that. Um, one second. I I started talking about the different types of force. So just like the Earth, so I must also say this that the Earth is is a magnet, right? Right. Um, I don't know if anybody has like a compass on their phone. But if you go ahead right now and take your phone and and hit the compass the compass right and you put the compass on the or you put the phone to lie down on the floor right you realize that your compass is going to direct you or it's going to it's going to show you know what, what, what cardinal point you're in and all those kind of things right if it wasn't for the, the earth's magnetic force right then the compass would not be able to work good so a compass needs a magnetic field and in this simulation, we, we, you know, this is how the Earth, where is that thing? This is how the Earth magnetic field operates. So, so here I have a magnet, a, a, a compass rather, and this is the Earth, right? If you can see clearly, on, on at the top of the Earth is the actual south pole, right? Whereas now, the the, the bottom section, the, the southern section of the of the magnet is the actual north pole right now the reason why we say this is because whenever when this when the scientists were doing this experiment when whenever they take a compass and they put it down on the on the earth they realize that the compass would normally point towards the the, the north and remember we said that and i'm not, I'm not sure if we actually say but opposite poles tend to attract while similar poles will repel so if i have a north and a south that's when i'm going to have a force of attraction if i have a north and a north pole going together i'm going to get a, a force of repulsion right so that's how it works so now when those guys are doing the experiment they realize that when they put the compass on the earth right so this is my compass on the earth right now and i just realized that it is actually pointing in the north north direction right so what this is telling me is that my northern side of my compass must be attracting to a southern magnet. Hence, no, where we say, all right, the top of the earth is going to be the south pole and the bottom of the earth is going to be the north pole because that is what we have experienced with our compass. You understand? So are we getting it? Are we, are we there? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So this is what is happening, guys. So important to note that whenever you have a single bar magnet, so you have a single bar magnet, right? Now, the, the, the idea of the magnet is to move from the south, or the magnetic field is going to always move from the south. I mean, not the south. It's going to move from the north and go in the south. So if you look at this arrow, this one here that I'm, that I'm retracing, it is moving from the north to the south. That is how the magnetic fields operate in every magnet, right? And once you know this concept, you're, you're on your way to understanding what is going to take place whenever we do other things. So at all times, remember that the magnetic field moves from the north to the south. Good. Now, let's look at this now. This is when 
unlike poles attract. When you say unlike poles, we mean north and south. They are unlike. They are opposite. Good. One second there, guys. So this little diagram here, I really want to take it down. Go start. You can write this part that says just like the Earth, a bar magnet has two poles, a north and a south pole. Like, I mean, therefore, magnets are dipole. So the word dipole means, or the word di means two, right? And then now, po, I mean, polar rather, so dipolar, meaning that, yes, it has two poles, right? So you refer to a magnet as a dipole, magnet or a dipole, right? The poles are usually found at uh, opposite ends of the magnet and are the regions where the magnetic effect is the greatest. So when you get that magnet, right you'll find that things are more tend to are more likely to attract to the end of the of the of the magnet because what we're saying here is that there is the greatest effect at the magnet at, at, the, at the at the at the poles so whenever you take a north and a south uh poles and put them together or magnets together this is what's going to happen <coughs> The magnetic field is going to move from the north to the south as what we said originally so your arrows has to go in this direction All right and you know the magnetic fields guys it moves in a circular pattern while here it, it was in a straight line and that is because they are basically uh close by each other like that parallel to each other so somewhat right so but overall, it's some con we call these concentric circles. So these circles here are what we call con concentric circles, and they move from the the north to the south. Go ahead, take that down quickly. If there's any questions, if, any, if you don't understand, let me know quickly. All right. We're understanding though. Joshua, you get to have one? Yes, sir. Wind. Understand what's going on? Um, yes, sir. Yes, Grandma? Oh. All right. Um, Okay, I'll go for something. Javon. Javon, do you understand? Yes, sir. All right. An Angel Lee. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, I do, sir. All right. Now, D7. Who is D7? Do you understand what's going on? Yes, sir, fully. Are, are you have you taken off the, the diagram? Yes, sir. No, much. I didn't see you post the, the, the assignment. Right? You should have Yeah man, the one the one that I did last class. Oh, oh, sorry, sir. I didn't I didn't finish it. Alright. Carissa, you did not post the assignment right yeah. um clark did not post the assignment michaela uh, michaela rather did not post the assignment right i need the assignment guys i really Sir, need... i didn't see the assignment when i looked for it huh i didn't see the assignment when i looked for it who said that grace who said no, that about tyler Tyler Oh, you did not see the assignment that you look for it because were you at class? Yes, I was. So you never take it off at when you know when you're at class because I didn't bother to post it because I expected that person were, were writing it off. 
You see what I'm saying? So you didn't, you didn't write it off. Can you post it, please? Did you Can write you it off? No, sir. Why you, you didn't write no, it off? No, sir. Can you post it? I'm asking you, why you didn't write it off? I didn't, I didn't see an assignment then. I mean, you were in, you were in, you were in, in class last class. Eh? Read, you didn't post the assignment, kindly do it before the day ends. All right. Okay. All right. Um, if you guys don't have any more questions, then we will stick up in here for today and then we'll definitely pick up on some other things, right? Um, oh, lovely stuff. We want to talk about the different types of magnets. So there is permanent magnets, temporary magnets, and you know we're going to talk about that a little bit. We're going to talk about resistance, all right, and talk about voltage and current. That's what we're going to do next. We're going to talk about electromagnetic induction. Then that should cover us talking about electromagnetism or electromagnets. And then now we can now move into what we call thermal physics. I want to talk about thermal, we talk about temperature, right? So that would be basically the last thing that we would have to cover before, you know, I set a major exam. I'm looking here. So that would be the last thing for me to cover before I set a major exam for you guys. That exam would be like your, your end of uh, year exam. Remember I said that you have to do the chemistry aspect of the course. You have to do an exam for that to, to assess your performance. So sooner than later, I'm going to have to post that exam online and you will have to complete it. Everybody, once once you know that you need chemistry to move on, you have you have, you have, you have to go find some way to get connected and, and do that thing. All right. If we don't have any more questions, you know, then we can end this class a little bit early today. Sir, I have one question. Go ahead, how sir. Them know, how them know north different from south? How do, how do they know north? So, if, you know, so, um, oh, good question. Uh, how do you know north from south? So, I'm, I'm guessing... It, it, it would have to be, or it, it would be as a result of, you know, say for example, yeah, yeah, is that good question you asked you? And, um, not, you know, there's a way to find it out, there's a way, right? Um, but I would say, you know, using the compass, right, could actually show you, but then now, how would you know, like, which part of the compass is now, which part of it is south? But there are some other cool ways. Maybe I have to do a little bit of research right into it. Right. Um, but uh, you know what no. You see, in addition to that, there are some little techniques that that, that the scientists have keep, uh, came up with, right, to be able to can de de determine which, which side is the north, which side is the south, based on the flow of the current. But you know, we get to the question you say, and it kind of look a little abstract, right? But don't worry yourself, right? You just want to know, say, once your magnet is labeled north and south then you're, you're you're fine you understand right but yeah it's hard for us to look at a, at a magnet right now and just determine whether that part of the magnet is north or that part is south you understand yes sir are there are there any more questions all right if there is no more questions, then we're going to end this class today. And thanks for flying. Sir, in. go ahead. Sir, um, what assignment are you talking about, sir? You sound like Mishka. Are you Mishka? No, sir. It's Angeli, sir. It's Angeli. Oh, um, if you were in class last time, Friday, right? No, this sir, I wasn't. All right, let me just bring it up back for you. This is the, this is the assignment, right? So go ahead right now, take a screenshot of it. For persons who didn't see it, take a screenshot of this. Let me just scroll up a little bit quickly. So you need to take a screenshot of this. Okay. 
Okay. So screenshot that part, then I'm going to scroll down for you to screenshot the next part. Yes, sir. Let me know when you have done such a thing. So I can scroll down now, sir. Everybody, did you, did you get that? A person who didn't get this? All right, now next part. So you can, yeah, so basically this is the end of it. So from four, you can just screenshot that part again. All right, this is explain how a turbine is used to generate electricity and it says complete the table below and then now this final question which is explain why is it uh why is to put an earth leakage uh circuit breaker in an electric circuit uh when using an electric lawnmower so once you have done that then i don't know where, it's, where i don't know i don't know where hail is going now at this at this time of the day you know Haley, where are you going? Haley, where, where are you going now? Pardon me, sir. Where are you going now? So I was having trouble with the arm signing in on my um on my laptop. It was keep saying launching, but it wasn't signing in. So why you normally use a laptop when you have this thing? Are you normally are you normally use a phone? I normally use my laptop, so I had to go on my phone and download the app and everything. Oh, sorry about that, but you know, you're, you're late for class today. All right. Do you know how long I sit down here trying to go on it? Yeah, sorry about that though. Um, right. Did you, did you, did you, did you talk to Fred this morning? <laughs> Pardon me, sir? Talk to Fred this morning? Did I pray? No, sir, not as yet. Maybe that's why, you know, let me just play a, a little song for you. <laughs> Sandra, Sandra Brooks, you know, hopefully you can hear it. I don't know if you know this, this gospel. Do you know it? No, sir. All right, this is it. You're going to hear it now. <laughs> the, the, the chorus is coming up soon. Did you talk? The friend is mine. Somebody please tell Sir to stop singing. You did. Did you ask the Lord to God? Hey, that's your song for today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> oh my. All right. So, at least you got a one minute version of, of this song, you know? So yes, that's it. Sir. I'll try my best to post the video so you can get it. Um, all right. But here, you did not submit the work. Go ahead and do my work now and submit it so I can get it. Okay, sir. Thank you. All right, guys. Take care. Um, see you on Friday.